Welcome to Elf Hosted. When you make a mistake, you fix it. Let's not make a mistake and let's learn about how to stream from Usenet with Streamio, Usenet Streamer and NZB Dev, which now includes multiple provider support. To start off with, we'll need to configure NZB Dev for our multiple providers. So open it from your dashboard, go to settings and we'll add our first provider. Set your maximum connections to what your provider allows and change your type to be pool connections or in the case of a block account where you only want to use this as a fallback, use backup only. Test your connection and save. Now if you have more providers, add them all. And once again, test your connection and save. You now have two providers. Remember to save this menu as well. Done. Now I have 200 maximum connections. That's my 100 plus 100 maximum connections. I'm done for NZB Dev. Let's go back to the dashboard and launch Usenet Streamer. The first page you see has no options because you need to click on Load Configuration. Now you see all your config. By default, we're going to use NewsNab only. And here's where you'll add your own indexes. So whichever indexes you're a member of, you can add them here. If you don't have any yet, you can choose Elf Zyklops, which is our internal cache. Click this button to make it available for health checks. Put anything in the API key, it doesn't matter. And test indexer. Verified. Good. This is all you have to do. Everything else is magically sorted for you. You could, though, choose some preferred languages, maximum file size, maybe you don't want to have rubbish resolutions. And right at the bottom, you'll click on Save Changes. Once you've done that, we're going to install into Stremio. So in my case, I'm going to copy to Stremio's web interface, click on Add-ons, install my add-on, paste it in there, and done, I'm installed. Now, if I was to search for something like white zombie, I'm now searching my indexer, in my case, Elf Cyclops, and notice here the little Elfy icon that tells us that this is a verified NZB. It's known to be healthy with my combination of indexes and file name and the date that was published because you can get multiple copies of the same file name. So once I play this one, I can trust that it'll work with my provider and it is going to play properly. That was a real time stream. That's how long it takes to start a stream. I don't know which of my providers this came from. Let's have a look and see if we can tell. It doesn't say, but we know that this is a healthy download and Streamio is happily streaming White Zombie to me. If you were to stream something that was not necessarily known to be cached, your results would look like this. Notice the delay. There's about a two second delay. That's how long it takes for us to wait for Usenet Streamer to do a health test on the first four results that it finds. In this case, it didn't complete the health test before any of these results were done. But if we were to refresh the search, we may find that by now it has completed the health test. There we are. So these two green ones are known to, are confirmed to be healthy on our providers. And this one is not verified. So if I was going to choose which one of these Night of the Living Dead to watch, I'd pick one with a green check. Green check means we've just manually tested this release. A little lightning bolt means that this release is already in our NZB dev. And so we know we can stream it instantly because it's already part of what we've downloaded successfully. And cute little elf guy means that this release is known to be healthy on our provider thanks to our crowdsourced background scraping database. So that's all there is to it. Now you can stream anything that you can find on Streamio 
that your Usenet indexes have content for through your Usenet providers. And if one provider doesn't have it, then the other provider is likely to do so. Happy streaming!